why am I building my own house? Um, because I want my house to be uh, a product of my own hands and brain. Uh, I want to see the process and I want to be the process, I guess. I wanted a, um, an earthbound floor, uh, meaning that it's actually tied to the ground so that it's temperature stable. It's going to stay cool in the summer. Um, and with the uh, piping that we put in it, we're going to be able to heat it during the winter. Um, it just appealed to me more than having to frame out and insulate a floor. Does that look like $300 worth of equipment? <laughs> Do you want me to talk about it? Okay. So we're getting ready to polish our concrete floor. It's going to be our finished floor. We're going to polish it and stain it and some sort of sealer on it. I haven't decided what yet. Um, so I've borrowed a just a regular floor buffer from our concrete guy. Nice guy. And he has it outfitted with diamond pads. Although his pads were worn out and uh, even the Velcro uh, that keeps those pads on um, is worn out. So I had to outfit the, I had to get new diamond pads for this floor buffer and it wasn't cheap. So you can see someone ran it way past being done. I don't have the, the old diamond pads that were on there. But these just bolt on but that's it's completely smooth there's no no velcro to that at all um, these are the new diamond pads so no sticky nothing see how this did ooh that's pretty good that'll work so just have to go through there and Get all these on there and tightened up. These are designed to be used wet so it's sort of a it's a wet sanding process Pretty classy. You're a classy guy. I know. I don't want anybody in there. A lot of hours have gone into polishing it and uh, cleaning it. Keep out. Who do you think he needs to keep out? Yeah. Who else? Sugar. Who else? Us? I don't want, uh, you know, leaves and needles and whatnot blowing in there onto uh, wet stain or wet sealer, uh, the results of which would be irreversible. That's the color. Mustang. The stain is a uh, water-based stain. It's a whole lot of pigment. Uh, just in water, so there's no binder to it at all. There it is. It goes down pretty easy. In the sprayer, we chose to do two different colors, a lighter brown to start with, 
and then phasing in the darker brown until it looked the way we wanted it to. kind of hard to tell what the stain is going to look like until the sealer is on it though. Um, looking at it wet gives you a little bit of an idea, uh, but once the sealer goes down it'll pull the color right out. So there's two parts. So once this, these two parts go together I have about an hour of pot life on this. Um, material. The little half gallon pump sprayer that I just had in the tool shed from some other project was not the highest quality. Uh, the, the stain ran through it okay with a few drips, but the sealer really didn't like to run through it uh, because it was, it had more body, it was thicker. Um, and it was a little bit frustrating. If I had to, to do again, I probably would have invested a little more in my sprayer. It really takes a lot of pressure to keep that spray decent. I don't think I'm affecting the look necessarily, I just think that was a frustrating process. So the second coat gets um, smoothed out with a uh, with a paint pad or the T-bar applicator, which is like a big lamb's wool thing. I'm just using the paint pad. Uh, I get it wet so that it doesn't just drink up the material. I think it's beautiful. I think it's very, very handsome. You think it's handsome? <laughs> yeah, that's cool, isn't it? I mean, it's kind of copper colored like the other stuff we're getting. You like well, it? Yeah, I like it a lot. I guess I haven't walked all over every part of it, but it's uh it's nice and modeled you know it's not all consistent and some of that is the nature of the concrete some of that's the irregular way that we applied the stain and the sealer um uh so you know i can see little drips that i made and it's okay it's not it doesn't bum me out too bad uh, and i like that it's the material itself it's our earthbound floor that's going to stay cool in the summer and we'll be able to heat it well in the winter. Um, and there's not a bunch of other junk all over it. It is the material that it is. And I like that. So now that this is done, I can uh, cover it up to protect it. I'll be rolling out rosin paper uh, and probably putting down some plywood, like under the staircase, uh, where I'll be doing some welding. Really protect it and keep it from getting dinged up or burned or, uh, you know, it's got a finish on it now. It's our only finished surface, which is a big deal. Um, and then I can start framing out the bathroom uh, and some other little uh, interior walls. 
do the interior framing and then we're ready for electrical. So framing next, electrical to follow. And then we can really start closing things up. I'm Nick from Fauchomatic Off Grid. Come on back. <laughs>